Now let us move on, guys. Now let us move on to these non-superated complications, the lab diagnosis of these. But first of all, let uh, let's look at an introduction. Okay. Now what is these? What are these non-superated complications? Non-superated complications means these are not a direct. Okay. These are not those pus forming leons or something. These are very different. These are because of molecular mimicry by the streptococcus antigens. See now, like example, you know the M protein, right? You have heard of this M protein so many times. It is a surface antigen. It's very important. You know what it will do? It will try to be like the myocardium antigens. So what happens when our body is trying to kill this, uh, not exactly kill the bacteria, and obviously it is trying to produce antibodies against this M protein. It will try to produce antibodies our and against M protein. Those antibodies will go and attack our heart also. Okay, so that is where the whole problem comes. Okay, now one more thing is this carbohydrate C. You remember carbohydrate C? It will be similar to cardiac valves. That's why probably valves are affected in rheumatic fever. Then you have so many like this: the cytoplasmic membrane, cytoplasmic membrane of the bacteria will be similar to glomerular vascular intima. Oops, it will be equal to glomerular vascular intima. Okay, then you have peptidoglycans which are similar to our skin, hyaluronic acid which is equal to synovial fluid. So, a lot of non-superative uh, complications can be there. Let me show you the textbook itself because I know it is very difficult to. Okay, see here, <clears throat> the M protein is so similar to myocardium. The C carbohydrate is so similar to the cardiac valve. The cytoplasmic membrane is similar to glomerular vascular intima. The peptidoglycan to our skin antigens and hyaluronic acid to the synovial fluid. Now, because of all these, some <clears throat> non superative complications will occur, such as rheumatic fever, acute rheumatic fever, post streptococcal, glomerular nephritis, okay. These are the two things which are very important. Then you have psoriasis, arthritis, obviously the joint is involved, means arthritis, right. Then pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorder, pandas, wow. All these are there, but here we are focusing on two things, rheumatic fever and glomerular nephritis. If it is caused by streptococcus, how will you lab diagnose it? <clears throat> okay. Now, main thing here uh, in lab diagnosis for this uh, rheumatic fever, okay, for rheumatic fever in the lab diagnosis, rheumatic fever lab diagnosis, See, basically the uh, heart will have something called as Ashkoff nodules, Ash, Ashhoff, Ashhoff nodules, okay. So, basically coming to the lab diagnosis, you should write azotiter, okay. Guys, wake up if you are sleeping, let me give you a reminder call date. Non-suppurative complications we are looking at under this acute rheumatic fever specifically you have to write everything else okay what you have seen in the last videos now you have to write azo titer what is this azo azo means anti streptolysin anti streptolysin o anti streptolysin o titer okay and uh, let's see more about this the azo titer is much higher in patients with acute rheumatic fever than seen in patients with group A streptococcus infections without ARF. So basically if a patient has a streptococcal infection or a non-superative complication of streptococcus that is acute rheumatic fever, in acute rheumatic fever patients the azotiter is much higher than with people who have just a streptococcal infection. Okay, now let us see what else we know about this uh, azotiter and all. I am just reading multiple textbooks. So, look here, see uh, azo means what? anti streptolysin O. If there is a titer of 200 units or more, it is indicative of rheumatic fever. So, a titer of 200 units or more 
is indicative of rheumatic fever. Okay. It indicates prior streptococcal infection. Okay. Azotiter is neutralization reaction. Now, if you want to know the details of azotiter, it is a neutralization reaction where antibodies to streptolysin O are neutralized with streptolysin O antigen. Okay. So, you have the streptolysin O antigen, right? Against that antigen, against this antigen, against this antigen that is against the streptolysin O antigen you are going to put the you are going to put the antibodies okay so streptolysin O antigen is there to that you are putting antibodies so it is anti streptolysin O correct anti streptolysin O so anti streptolysin O will be against the streptolysin O antigen so, nowadays they are doing it even with latex agglutination test, latex agglutination test instead of neutralization test. So, they are using latex agglutination test instead of neutralization test. Okay. Azotiter is usually found in high levels in rheumatic fever, but in glomerular nephritis, titers are low. So, in glomerular nephritis, they will use what? Anti-deoxyribonuclease B. That is, anti-DNA B estimation is more reliable. Titers of higher, uh, titers higher than 300 and 350 are significant. This, so I think this much should be enough for you. Don't worry much. Okay. Let's now start revising acute rheumatic fever, azotiter, anti-streptolysis, lysis or lysin? Anti-streptolysin O is it? anti streptolysin o titer if it is greater than 200 then it is significant okay what exactly is this isotiter it's a neutralization reaction against what you're taking antibodies to streptolysin o antigen nowadays Nowadays, even latex agglutination test is used, okay, instead of neutralization. Now, coming to glomerular nephritis. Is it simply glomerular nephritis or is there some special name for this glomerular nephritis? post streptococcal glomerular nephritis, PSGN, PSGN. What is it? Guys, come on, say post streptococcal glomerular nephritis. Very good. In this case, azotiter is not very useful. So, you use anti DNA B. Is that right? Am I saying it right? Come on, anti DNA B estimation is more reliable. Anything greater than 300 or 350 is significant okay i think this much is enough for you more you can read from textbook tata bye bye